Hello, happy people. Welcome to our daily devotional scripture that encourages you to pray. It's a beautiful day. I thought, why not have the devotional outside? Um, I want to say thank you to our social media team. Thank you for partnering in this ministry. Thank you for helping people to navigate our social media platforms. You're a tremendous blessing. Also, I want to encourage you, if you have any prayer requests or praise reports, not just for yourself. Hey, Gene, good evening. How's it going out there in New York City? Um, Guys, I want to encourage you, if you have any prayer requests or praise reports for yourself or for a loved one, uh, please use our prayer app. Put your prayer request in, your praise report in. We'd love to pray with you, pray for you. You don't have to go through what you're going through in life by yourself. Michelle, good evening. Please say hi to the girls. Um, Tonight we're going to talk about identity. And really looking forward to doing that. Um, want to encourage you to share this broadcast. Use lots of positive emojis, thumbs up, smiley faces, all those things. When you're doing that, you're doing the work of the evangelist today. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Lord be with you. Father in heaven, we thank you for today. We thank you for all of your blessings in our lives. Thank you for this beautiful weather. Thank you for this chance to reflect on you and our identity that's found in you. And help us, Father, to uh, think about the identity that we have uh, through you uh, as we interact with those around us in the world. Um, Father, we thank you for the good works that we are uh, blessed to be able to do today. And um, we pray now, Father, for a good night's rest and um, for the privilege to be able to serve you again tomorrow. Father, we pray all these things in Jesus' name, according to your will and for your glory. And all of God's children, we all say, Amen. I remember a couple of years ago, my daughter wanting to learn more about her family. And uh, she was very interested in learning about all things German. And so uh, we looked up our family tree. And it was really interesting because now that, you know there's so many resources out there for you to learn about your family tree. And when you're growing up, you know, you hear things about your family tree, you know. Great great grandpa John came over with his wife Christina and they uh came from Germany and this is what they did and and um and then you know you start using the resources that are out there and you find out that well there's more to the story <laughs> than, than what you knew. And so it was a lot of fun uh, for Grace and I to, to learn about our, our family tree. And, uh, you know, and then also I found out that I have friends who are really good about looking up family tree uh, history. And so I gave them the information that I had and they found more and they showed me how to use those resources. And so then I got a much clearer picture of my family history. And uh, it was kind of interesting sharing it with my dad and my family uh, because there were some things that they weren't even aware of. And so, you know, it's, it's kind of like learning about God. Um, the more we study, the more we learn, the more we learn about ourselves. And, uh, you know, tonight I wanted to talk about not so much your, your family identity, but your personal identity. So I'd like you to think for a second about your your uh, personal ID. So I've got, I've got my driver's license here. I'd like to, you to think about your personal ID card. Maybe it's a driver's license. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a passport. Maybe it's a school ID. You know, uh, your personal ID card is very small. It's very small, but it's also very powerful because uh, it tells a lot about you. Uh, and it empowers you to do different things. Um, with your respective ID card, you can go places and do things that other people cannot. Um, it distinguishes you from every other person. Uh, no two picture IDs are the same. When we, as Christians, are asked to show our picture ID, what is it that you would show? If somebody was to ask you, what's, what's your picture ID as a Christian? What identifies you as a Christian? What, what, would you, what would you say? What would you show them? Would you say, well, it's my belief that there's a God. Okay. But pagans believe that there's a God. Would you say that it's, well, I pray. Okay. But, you know, Muslims pray more than a lot of people pray. So would you say, well... Uh, 
it's because I'm nice. That's that's my picture ID as a car, as a Christian. It's because I'm nice. Well, I got to tell you, there's a lot of atheists that are super nice people, right? Um, I want to submit to you tonight that it's the Trinity, the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One God, three persons. It's the Trinity that makes us unique as Christians. Like some other religions in the world, we believe that there is only one God. But what makes us unique as Christians is that we believe that within this one God, there are three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm a history geek, and um, it's kind of interesting to me that it was an African Christian by the name of Tertullian in the 4th century AD who is recognized as being the first person to use the word Trinity. And uh, it's a very important word. Uh, it's a word that's not you know, found in Scripture itself, but it describes what we do find in Scripture. And so it's very important. And, of course, this Sunday we're going to be discussing uh, the teaching of the Blessed Trinity. Why? Why is the teaching of the Trinity so important? Because we are made in God's image. You were made in God's image. I was made in God's image. And so the more that we know about God, the more that we understand who we are called to be as Christians. And the Trinity is critical to understanding God. You know, according to some experts in religion, some people pattern themselves after the God, small g, God that they worship. So, for example, people who choose to worship a warrior God are usually aggressive and violent people. Uh, people who worship a God of pleasure are usually hedonistic themselves. People who worship a loving God are usually loving themselves. We worship the Trinity, one God three persons. When we became Christians, for a lot of us that was in the waters of our baptism, when we became Christians, we began to share in the Blessed Trinity because that is our identity as people. So what is it that the Trinity tells us about our lives as Christians? Well, when you look at the Trinity, what do we see? That our God is one, but he's not alone. He's not a lone ranger that there are three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that these three persons are distinct. They are different. But yet they are not in competition with each other. Rather, they are in collaboration with each other. And usually we think of the Father as the one who creates, the Son as the one who redeems, and the Holy Spirit as the one who sanctifies. But the Father does not create without the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Son does not redeem without the Father and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit does not sanctify without the Father and the Son. And so as Christians, then, when we look at the Trinity, we are reminded that we are called away from a life of individualism, of wanting to be a lone ranger. When we look at the Trinity, we are reminded that we identify our differences and we celebrate our diversity. When we look at the Trinity, we are reminded that we respect our uniqueness and making the best of what each person brings to the table. I am not you, and you are not me, but at the same time, I need you, and you need me, and as one, we grow in God. As we celebrate the Blessed Trinity, what do I do with the unique, uniqueness and differences of those in my church? Do I use such as an opportunity to celebrate and praise God or not? When we look at the Trinity, we recognize that we are called to, to collaborate and work together as one. Through the Trinity, we celebrate our identity. This is our picture ID, the Trinity. We pray to God to grant us the grace to live lives that give glory to God the Father through Jesus Christ in union with the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. Guys, I pray God's richest blessings upon you 
And I pray God's peace upon you as you reflect upon your identity that is found in the Trinity. Let's go in peace. Let's serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good night.